Sometimes you just have to have a blind belief in the work that you're doing. It's natural to have doubts and it's very easy to turn these doubts into valid excuses to quit. Don't. Stick with it, be persistent, and things will work out. So document the things that are meaningful to you and do it in a beautiful way. Go tell some stories with your photos. only been away for a year and I already feel like a tourist. A lot of things are still familiar, but there's no doubt that the city is going through a big transformation. Environmental, cultural, and political changes. There's a lot going on here, but I feel detached from all of it. Maybe I don't belong here anymore. Like any other tourist, there is a clock that's slowly counting down in my head. Before I know it, this will all be over and I'll be on the plane heading back home. I want to get a lot of work done while I'm here, but at the same time, I'm not exactly sure what I want to achieve. I started seriously documenting Hong Kong a couple of years back with a grand goal in my mind. I wanted to build an archive that would be worthy of being a part of this city's history. Sounds stupid when I say it out loud, but sometimes you need to have a dream to keep pushing. It seems unlikely that I'll be able to achieve that now. Since I don't live here anymore, a lot of important information will be missing from this story that I'm trying to tell. It's going to be a challenge to keep this going. This photo walk that I did recently made me doubt myself even more. I was walking through a neighborhood here filled with shops that have been around for generations. Some of them 80 to 100 years old. A lot of these shops in Hong Kong are being forced to close. Big companies buying them out government redevelopment plans, struggles due to COVID, many different reasons. A 
our heritage and culture disappearing right in front of our eyes. I knew I had to make a record of it. The thing is, if I wasn't here, I wouldn't have been able to capture any of these moments. I know I'm going to be missing out on a lot, and that's a reality that I have to deal with. That's why I can't help but ask myself, what's the point? Why am I still doing this? My mind is crippled with doubts, but my body continues to go through the motions. I spent a lot of time going through Greg Gerard's book earlier this year. I needed something to point me in the right direction. His work inspires me a lot and in a way offers a blueprint to what I'm trying to achieve myself. From what I know, Greg Gerard spent most of his career making photos in Hong Kong and in many other cities across Asia. None of these cities was his home, but he spent enough time in each of them to create his now legendary archive of photos. People around the world can experience old Hong Kong through his work and locals can reminisce the good times. His work, without a doubt, has become a very important part of Hong Kong. He left a mark in this city. Seeing his achievements does give me a bit of hope with what I'm going through. Maybe I just need to put a lot more effort into making my dream a reality. Get even more obsessed and make the best out of every chance that I get to visit. It's going to be hard, but not impossible. Look, I might be struggling with the work that I'm doing here, but I'm honestly having a lot of fun photographing Hong Kong again. These doubts that I've been having, in a way, forced me to rethink the direction and purpose of my photography.
and through that I learned how to tell more comprehensive stories with my photos. I'm paying a lot more attention to the smaller details now. Shining a brighter light on the supporting cast, if you will. These photos might not get you a ton of likes on Instagram, but they're the ones that can help add another layer to the story that you're trying to tell. No detail is too small to be captured. Everything that catches your eye is an important piece of information. You might not see it immediately, but somewhere down the road, you might. It's not always about the complex compositions and abstract reflections. They're all nice to look at and they show off a photographer's skill. But these photos alone are often not enough to communicate a message. I guess I'm trying to find a good balance between the art of street photography and the storytelling of documentary work. That middle ground seems to be the best place for me to operate. And that's what I'm going to do while I'm here. Experiment a little and explore the city again in a slightly new direction. What I'm also trying to say with this video is that sometimes you just have to have a blind belief in the work that you're doing. It's natural to have doubts and it's very easy to turn these doubts into valid excuses to quit. Don't. Stick with it, be persistent, and things will work out. So document the things that are meaningful to you and do it in a beautiful way. Go tell some stories with your photos.